In this tutorial, I'll guide you through your course home. I'll show some basic navigational features, introduce you to some of the key content, and also show you how you can use your course home as a launching pad to self-enroll into your other units of study. At the top of the course home are a series of tabs that act as navigation. On the first of these tabs, there's a welcome from our CEO. On the Your Virtual Campus tab, there's details about Moodle, which is a technology that you're currently using, plus a range of other associated technologies. The first of these is a book that will guide you through basic navigation of the virtual campus. Once you access this book, you can use the page turning arrows both at the top of the page and also lower down to migrate through the various content. Included in this content is details about Moodle Mobile, which is a mobile application that you can install on your smartphone or tablet PC and access Moodle from the device from wherever you happen to be. Once you've completed a Moodle book, you can use the upward facing arrow to return to your previous content. Also under the Your Virtual Campus tab is information about your student email and OneDrive, online communication guidelines, access to your student ePortfolio, and also access the student ePortfolio. If we proceed now to the Student Induction tab, you'll find information that will support you as a GoTo student. It includes a Student Induction book, Student Handbook, and various supporting links. On the About Your Course tab, you'll find information about this specific qualification. Amongst this, there is details about course outcomes, jobs, and a course outline, which includes the various units of competency. Importantly, we have our Induction Completion tab. On this tab, there's a Student Induction Completion Checklist, which must be completed by you before you can access your units of study. Once you access this checklist, there are a series of questions you must respond to in order to proceed. Carefully read and then respond to each of these questions. As you do so, you'll notice that the progress bar is completing to show how many of these questions you have answered. And it's important that you read and then check each and every one of these checklist items. Now that I've achieved 100%, I've completed my checklist and I now need to navigate back to proceed further through the content. And it's at this point that we get to use the other navigational feature within Moodle, which is called the breadcrumbs navigation. And it shows you the sequence that you have taken to get to where you are now. I can therefore use the links provided above to move backwards through my content, in this case to the induction completion section. Now that I've completed the student induction checklist, I can see a tick next to that item, and importantly, it has released for me a new tab called Links to Course Units, and it's at this point that I can now self-enrol into my various units of study. On this screen, you'll find links to the individual Moodle units. Your trainer will provide you with a self-enrolment key that you'll need to access these units. Once you have this key, click on any of the links provided here. These links will open in a new window or tab, and you can enter the self-enrolment key into the field provided. Once you've done so, click the Enroll Me button at this point, you've successfully enrolled into your first unit and you can close the newly opened tab to return back to your course home and repeat the process for as many units of study as is necessary.